All right, this is Jack and Jill Rama, promo video take 16. No, really, it's only like take number three or four, I think. So anyways, uh, as I've been traveling around Europe the last few weeks, I've had a bunch of people ask me like, what makes Jack and Jill Rama special and different, so I just wanted to make a quick video to just talk about what some of my favorite things are. So first off, I should say that Jack and Jill Rama is really an event that's about participating, about doing, about being part of the event, not just watching. There are tons of really fun things and competitions to watch, but really dancing and being an active part of the event is what makes it so special and so fun. So one of the first aspects of that is all of the different competitions that we have that really make Jack and Jill Rama a contest extravaganza and are what I remember being so fun about the event back when I was... Uh, first attending it, and I loved having the chance to dance with so many different people in so many different competitions. So in addition to the normal level Jack and Jill's, we've also got the role reversal division where people dance in their opposite role. We've got sophisticated and masters. We've got the all-American 60s era where everybody dances with people from different levels, but we play 60s music for it. We've got the open jackpot, which is the same idea, except that we have a giant prize fund for that. All of the entry fees from all those couples go back towards the prizes for everyone. And with 180 couples signing up for that contest, that is a huge prize fund for whoever wins that. Then we've also got the Pro-Am Jack and Jill, where high and low-level dancers get a chance to compete with each other. And all of these divisions just give you a really great chance to dance with and meet so many different people. So along with all of those contests, we have the Carlito Challenge, because this guy right here is basically impossible to keep up with during the weekend. He signs up for all of the competitions, so we decided that we would make a competition out of trying to keep up with Carlito. You earn points for that by entering divisions and participating in them, as well as making finals and placing gets you more points too. In addition to signing up for all the contests, Carlito also stays out dancing every single night till closing, and that's because the social dancing at Jack and Jill Rama is fantastic. It lasts till 9 a.m. in the morning, and that is due to our incredible music lineup. That kicks off on Thursday with Forrest and Victor as our DJs. On Friday, things continue in the main ballroom. We've got Shahid doing a soul room, or excuse me, doing a soul hour. And then after the soul hour, Shahid and Helen take over and they go back and forth with the Dennis Jones band playing live blues music for you guys, and they are fan. Fantastic. They played last year and they were amazing. In the second ballroom, we've got Jack Smith this year doing the Jumpin' Jack flashback room. That's going to be a throwback room where Jack plays all of his favorite hits, basically from back when he had like that long mullet, or essentially from when his uh, kickoff song was Play That Funky Music White Boy before he switched over to Dangerous. That's the era that Jack's going to be hitting with that Jumpin' Jack flashback room. On Saturday night, Helen kicks things off with the 50-50 hour, which is similar to Samantha's 50-50 dance at the press box, which I know a lot of you have been there before. If you haven't, definitely check it out. That's where they play 50% newer music and 50% older music. They play one song going back and forth between the two. Helen's going to be doing that for an hour, and then afterwards in the main ballroom, we've got the Blacklight Glow Party Westy Rave, which is unlike anything else you've been to. We've got this year two DJs, Johnny and Roger. Johnny's been our DJ for the, on the turntables the last several years, but he couldn't make it last year. Roger took over for him and did an amazing job. I couldn't decide, so this year we've got them both, and they're going to be mixing on four turntables for you guys going back and forth with each other and then with their sets they're going to be going back and forth with Larissa and Forrest and Saturday night is the night where people last until 9 a.m. in the second ballroom Sonny Watson is going to be doing the street swing blues room where he's going to be playing amazing blues music some of which will be your favorites that you've heard before but he also manages to dig up blues songs that none of us have ever heard before that are amazing to dance to so awesome opportunity for you can go back and forth between the blues room and the glow party and get an incredible social dancing experience and then somehow still have the energy for Sunday evening when Dimitri takes over with Meech and friends to finish out the weekend. In addition to our social dancing and our competitions, we've got incredible workshops with all these instructors right here behind me. 
We added a couple things to our workshop lineup this year. We've still got the all-star, um, the late night all-star seminars that we've done in the past, but we also added an intermediate competitors workshop and a master's track workshop. And then Brandy right here is going to be doing the intensive this year. She's going to be doing the art and science behind quality of movement. So that'll be an incredible opportunity to take your dancing to the next level. So make sure you guys don't miss that. Then I feel like I should explain the dinosaur. So we have something called the Orama Cup. This was uh, actually an idea I got from Bobak, one of the geniuses behind Rose City Swing. And uh, he gave me this idea to do something like a Harry Potter house cup. So that's what we did. It's a, a regional cup where we basically divide people up into regional teams through the weekend. And then those teams have all sorts of crazy team spirit and decorations. They do things like show up in dinosaur costumes for some reason. Not sure why, but there were two of those last year. But anyway, so the Orama Cup, you earn points for your team by doing things like competing in the Carlito Challenge, but also just having a good vibe for the weekend. Our staff, all of our teachers and judges and DJs can give out points through the weekend to different teams for any just awesome vibe and behavior and good energy they see from people. They can also take points away, though, so don't show up late for your contest or late for their workshop. Uh, so we've got the Orama Cup, the Carlito Challenge, our contests, our social dancing, and our workshops. And then we finish things out on Monday by going to Disneyland, getting a whole bunch of dancers to go and hang out together at Disneyland because it's right up the street from the hotel. So I hope you can join us. Jack and Jill Rama, it is the second weekend of June. You can see the dates right over here, June 6th through the 10th. These are just some of the things that make it special. There's a lot more, though, so check out our website, jackandjillrama.com, or you can check out the Facebook event. And I hope you can join us. Prepare to be super tired with really sore feet, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Professional fade out.